A captivating and contentious chapter of prehistoric America reportedly emerged on the sunlit shores of Catalina Island off Southern California. In the tranquil beaches of rolling hills, some claim to have uncovered evidence of an ancient race of fair-haired giants, taller and more robust than modern humans, based on the discovery of massive skeletons. These giants are said to have possessed remarkably advanced technology for their era, igniting a lively debate among scholars, archaeologists, and enthusiasts. In contrast, a more widely accepted archaeological find is located just north on Santa Rosa Island. The Arlington Springs Man found in 1959. This is the oldest known human skeleton in North America. Dating back over 13,000 years, these remains have greatly enhanced our understanding of early human migration and life in prehistoric North America. What do these discoveries reveal about the mysterious past of humanity and our ongoing search for origins? Catalina Giant Skeletons The Mystery of the Giants Catalina Island, part of California's Channel Islands, has captivated scientists, explorers, and archaeologists for centuries. The island was inhabited by the Tongva, an ancient Native American tribe, around 8,000 years ago. In 1913, German naturalist Dr. Forstenden made a startling discovery on Catalina, the skeleton of a towering eight-foot-tall male, buried among artifacts that didn't match typical Native American burial items. Among these relics was a peculiar flat stone with mysterious symbols. Forstenden was investigating a local legend suggesting that giants once roamed Catalina, and this skeleton seemed to support that claim. However, the bones were found in hard black sand on Avalon Bay, which appeared to have been burned at some point. As a result, the bones disintegrated during excavation, leaving only a foot, a jawbone, and a skull intact. Consequently, the existence of this giant could not be definitively proven. While the origin of the Catalina giant rumors is unclear, there are records of other unusual skeletons found on the Channel Islands, including a seven-foot-tall skeleton with six fingers on each hand, six toes on each foot, and reportedly two rows of teeth. These finds suggested that evolutionary paths might have diverged in this isolated environment. The Channel Islands' reputation for yielding intriguing archaeological discoveries continues to draw the interest of archaeologists and anthropologists with grand ambitions. Big Glidden's Discovery At the dawn of the 20th century, Ralph Glidden, an ex-carpenter and self-taught archaeologist, embarked on a series of excavations. Having grown up on Catalina Island from age 15, Glidden was known for his eccentricity. Fascinated by local Native American burial sites, he aspired to achieve the same level of success as renowned archaeologists he had read about. To gain recognition, Glidden exaggerated his credentials, presenting himself as a doctor or professor of archaeology despite lacking formal education. Between 1919 and 1928, Glidden excavated hundreds of Indian graves on the Channel Islands, amassing thousands of artifacts such as ancient arrowheads, clubs, bone flutes, and beads believed to be used as currency. He unearthed up to 800 burial sites, mostly of the Tongva Native Americans. Among his claims were the discovery of giant skeletons, purportedly European in appearance with fair hair and blue eyes, ranging from 7 to 9 feet tall, which he asserted were ancestors of the Native Americans. In 1930, Glidden reported finding the skeleton of a princess buried upright in an urn, surrounded by the remains of 64 children. Beneath this site, he claimed to have discovered a 7-foot-8-inch man impaled by a spear. Glidden suggested that these giants, some up to 9 feet tall, were highly intelligent and possessed advanced technologies that vanished mysteriously, likely due to an extinction event. He theorized that the giants had been worshipped by native humans, explaining their ceremonial burials. According to Glidden, this lost civilization was not merely a group of isolated individuals, but a significant, forgotten society. On the Cobb Collection, Glidden aimed to capitalize on his extraordinary discoveries, which were gaining media attention. In 1924, he established the Catalina Museum of Island Indians to house and showcase his collection, describing it as a unique and weirdly spectacular institution. The museum displayed stacks of bones from Native American graves, with Glidden using the remains for decorative purposes, creating cornices from shoulder blades, shelves from larger bones, and adorning the walls and ceiling with skulls. 
He arranged his finds in unsettling poses to shock and intrigue visitors, charging 35 cents for entry. However, visitors found little evidence of giants, and Glidden's archaeological peers accused him of using fake bones, allegedly purchased from a gift shop. Mainstream science dismissed his giant claims due to his flawed methodologies. Labeled a hoaxer by some media, Glidden closed the museum in 1950, trying to sell his collection, which he still believed was valuable. In 1968, the Wrigley family, known for their chewing gum empire and interest in Catalina Island's history, purchased the collection for just $5,000. They later donated it to the local Catalina Museum. Arlington Springs Man The enigma of the first humans remains a topic of debate, especially regarding who first inhabited the Channel Islands. Central to this discussion is a set of human remains known as the Arlington Springs Man, discovered about a decade after Glidden's museum closed. Had Glidden's methods been more precise, this groundbreaking find could have been his. Instead, it was archaeologists or who uncovered these remains, realizing their potential to shed light on the island's past, though he couldn't foresee their full significance at the time. The Arlington Springs man was found embedded in a canyon cliff on Santa Rosa Island, located 100 miles northwest of Catalina. The bones, buried 37 feet below the cliff top, were among Pleistocene sediments, dating back approximately 11,700 years. Recognizing the limitations of contemporary dating techniques, or preserved the find by excavating the entire block of earth, encasing it in plaster, and transporting it to the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History. There, it awaited technological advancements for precise dating. In the late 1980s, after Orr's retirement, the Arlington Springs man's remains were finally unwrapped. Radiocarbon dating of a femur bone revealed the remains to be an astonishing 13,000 years old, making them the oldest reliably dated human remains in the Americas. This discovery suggests that coastal migration using watercraft occurred much earlier than previously thought, casting further doubt on Glidden's theories about giants. As archaeological techniques improve, ongoing excavations on the Channel Islands aim to uncover more about the Arlington Springs man and his people. A strange mysterious case. A puzzling and enigmatic topic, many ancient cultures have recounted tales of unusually tall humanoid beings living among or before them. Numerous skeletons exceeding seven feet in height have been discovered worldwide, some featuring peculiar traits like elongated skulls and exceptionally strong bones with multiple rows of teeth. In North America alone, over a thousand reports of skeletons taller than seven feet have surfaced. Despite this apparent evidence, modern science remains doubtful about the existence of giants. Regarding Ralph Glidden's findings, a curator from the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History remarked, these reports seem to be apocryphal. For instance, there's a historic photo showing Glidden in the background with the burial site in the foreground, creating an illusion of a giant skeleton. The reason for the numerous intriguing discoveries on Catalina and the Channel Islands remains uncertain. Early finds cannot be confirmed or disproven, and it seems these early discoveries might have influenced Glidden's fraudulent claims. In 2013, the Catalina Island Museum presented an exhibition titled The Strange and Mysterious Case of Dr. Glidden, which aimed to portray Glidden as a deceitful grave robber. It's estimated that throughout his career, Glidden disturbed the graves of approximately 4,000 individuals. While Glidden's claims have been debunked, Isolated evolution can lead to surprising changes in species, and several notable examples have been identified on the Channel Islands using sound scientific methods. Contrary to Glidden's claims, substantial evidence shows that large animals often adapt their size to their environment, leading to smaller creatures on isolated islands, a phenomenon known as insular dwarfism. The pygmy mammoth, a dwarf elephant significantly smaller than its Colombian relatives, was first discovered on the Channel Islands in 1856. Additional remains were found in the same strata as the Arlington Springs Man. Another example of insular dwarfism is the island fox, the smallest fox species in North America, found exclusively on the Channel Islands. Despite numerous reports of large skeletal remains across the continent, mainstream scientists continue to question the existence of ancient giants. Thank you for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for updates on more exciting content.
See you next time.